seems like anyways, you know, you got get together with friends and it's like, oh, you know, yeah, songs that you really love that you would just do spark play. Um, I think we had that as a collectively of, uh, you know, wanting to do it together and want most importantly, wanting it to do it well. You know, we really, everybody really, we have a pretty high standard of homework and, uh, you know, and of really like getting, getting inside a thing and, and, uh, you know, it, as much of the one of the little things, little details and nuances that that make it so cool uh, to us, anyways, you know. Um, but that was uh, a lot of pride, and that's how we developed that. That it was definitely had a high standard of wanting to be able to at least somewhat recreate some of the of our favorite type of stuff, but to really sound like we wanted to sound like a record live in a room, you know. Yeah, so yeah. that's. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, what kind of places were you guys playing? The, the uh, at that time, at that time, uh, we were we were young, so it was just you know we were we were. I was at the time where I mean, in the gigging, uh, you know, so after we started Orgone, we'd been in the cover bands before and stuff, so we all had, you know, some some you know, but experience and learning songs and playing them in different groups and and you know, working the typical working bar bar band kind of stuff. But yeah, just bars. There was a there was really what put the band together. What really got the band? Well, we where we started cutting our teeth. We were just gigging around Los Angeles as much as we could, and it was just the smallest whatever gigs. There was a corner bar called the uh, Scotland Yard Pub. It was a neighborhood bar uh, in the West Valley, West San Fernando Valley, and uh, oh, we, yeah, we we you know we we. The, we were good friends with the owner's son and he was managing Thursday nights and he, you know, we kind of got the idea. It's like, Hey, let's just set up on the, in the corner on Thursday nights and, uh, you know, and, and see what, and, and, uh, and that started a, a, a regular thing. And I think we did that gig for like three years in a row without barely missing Thursdays, you know, and that was, that was pretty, that was pretty crucial. It just, uh, just performing and kind of, you know, getting, getting tightening up the, just things and having that the hours my blogging in the hours and uh yeah and then uh and then we're just doing those kinds of gigs all over la just whatever you know to whether there's five people or 50 at, at the time not big crowds just kind of we used to play out in venice beach at the it's a place called the Venice bistro on sundays i know uh, that was uh yeah didn't pay barely paid anything but it was fun. it was a fun gig to be at the beach in venice on every sunday you know and be playing music uh, right off the boardwalk there, you know, uh, oh, news, uh, there was, a, and I definitely have a lot of nostalgia for that, that time. There was definitely, you know, a lot of uh, some good feelings and people loved it. And, uh, yeah, to go play, you know, Booker T and the meters <laughs> or people that, uh, you know, weren't expecting it or didn't even know the music. And that, uh, I think, uh, yeah, we definitely took, we took that to heart. That was kind of, uh, at the time, especially the crazy Spotify and all that, that was, like we were championing something that uh you know people just weren't aware enough you know they just don't they just haven't heard it they don't know so 